Well, I've got my uh, solar panels and uh, my hardware for a mountain uh, on top of my trailer. And so the system I'm using is uh, some brackets and hardware I bought from Signature Solar uh, down in uh, Texas. Uh, they've got these six inch mini rails and these clamps. And the clamp goes into the mini rail and then the frame of the uh, solar panel fits in here. Now these mini rails will be uh, bolted, screwed uh, into the frame of my trailer. I've also uh, installed some uh, 3M uh, BRB double-sided tape. I'm going to use that and I'm going to have the mechanical fasteners that go into the frame of the uh, trailer. I uh, put my uh, BRB tape on. I wanted to ensure that, uh, that they were, uh, st that it stuck really well. So I cleaned these all off with uh, paint thinner and then, uh, and then I finished cleaning them with uh, alcohol. So they're, they're very clean. And then I took my tape and uh, installed the tape. And then I have a, uh, a hard rubber roller here that I use uh, for you put it, installing laminates and whatnot. So I put that down and uh, made sure that I got real good contact uh, on all the surfaces where the tape goes. Well, you can see there. So uh, hopefully uh, that'll get the tape sticking to these and then uh, the screws will help uh, hold that on top of the roof. So I, I don't think these panels are going to be going anywhere with the VRB tape and the mechanical fasteners into the frame of the trailer. So uh, there'll be a total of around nine, nine fasteners per panel uh, is what I'm going to have. So uh, it, it's not going anywhere. Uh, I don't have to worry about those things flying off and hitting somebody on the highway. The panels that um, I'm going to be using are 79 by 39 inches. So basically this whole uh, top of the trailer will be covered in solar panels. And uh, so the next step is to come up here and mark my locations uh, where my frames are at. I've got a, a welding magnet I'm going to use to help me do that. I'm going to mark all the positions uh, where I'm going to place those uh, brackets and then get to cleaning and installing. So uh, that's what we're going to do. Hey folks, finally getting around to uh, getting my uh, panels installed on my roof. So I'll show you uh, what I've been doing here. My uh, trailer frame is uh, on 16 inch centers. They're one, it's one inch tubular steel going all the way across. I have one solid piece of aluminum on top here so I can't see where the uh, frames are and then also uh, inside I've got insulation and, uh, and, and wood for a ceiling so I can't go all the way through and bolt them. So what I'm doing is first thing I'm going to do is, is I determine where the frames are at. They're on 16 inch centers so that you know, gives me a clue. So I have this uh, welding uh, magnet that I use for my welding. And if you'll notice, right here it doesn't stick to where just aluminum's at. Uh, as I'm bringing it across, oh man, then it, it locks onto that metal frame underneath. So if I just keep going to right there, then it's not, it's not attached. So, so you can really pretty much figure out exactly where that is. So what I've done is I've gone around and I've marked all the locations um, where the frames are at. And then my next step is I've cleaned the roof really well. I did take a, a Scotch-Brite pad earlier and uh, clean this off. Once I've cleaned it with some soap and water, I come back and uh, use some alcohol, and then I pour the alcohol on it and uh, get it nice and clean. 
Of course, that's the instructions for the VRB tape. Yeah. Jack, I'm talking to the camera, not you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you keep answering me when I'm yeah. talking to the camera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So anyways, it, uh, it calls for cleaning it with alcohol. Get it nice and clean. All right. I put a little dowel in there so I can line up the hole. Make sure I get it on there correct. I got two. I got two of them. Because once this tape is down, it ain't. It ain't going nowhere. Damn wind blowing like crazy. Okay. Then what I'm using is just your standard uh, roofing, metal roofing uh, fasteners. I've pre-drilled the holes, 964s, and then I'm just using these to secure. So not only, not only do these mini rails are called have a, a VRB tape underneath, which is probably more than enough to hold everything, but I'm also using mechanical fastener hold it down. think that's going anywhere and then later uh, what I'm going to do is once I have them all installed I'm going to come back here with Lexon and I'm going to go ahead and put a, a bead of Lexon around the bracket and over the and coat the top of the uh, the, the bolts with the Lexon to seal it I'm not this Lexon is not for holding power it's not to help hold it in it's just to waterproof it keep water from getting underneath there There's the bracket for the, uh, will hold the uh, actual solar panel. So the solar panels will sit on top of these, and this bracket right here will lock it in place. One on each side and uh, in the middle also. panels are quite large. Uh, I'm working by myself. Uh, it's Monday. Everybody's at work. Uh, so my tractor that I've uh, used for the last 15 years on my homestead here has been invaluable for projects like this. four panels up here and uh, I'm putting on the last uh, of the clamps 
as you can see right here, I've got the uh, the rails, as I've demonstrated before, uh, mounted. And now we just take these clamps here. What I like about these, uh, this system is that I can take these panels off. Nothing's, uh, if I was to buy some panels that were a little bit different size or whatnot, they, I'd still be able to mount them because the rails are large enough and have enough play back and forth uh, that I could uh, mount some different uh, or replace these. And so there's nothing glued down. It's just a matter of clamps. So I've got one, two, three, four, five. I got uh, six clamps per uh solar panel holding it all down. Well, I've got my uh, panels mounted. It's uh, taking me most of the day, but uh, I've got my front panels here and my rear panels there. So I've got this set up with uh, 2P, 2S, 2P. So these two are in series, those two are in series, and then the two arrays are put together in parallel. And with my joiners right here, I plan on putting my uh, my gland uh, roof gland right here, and I'll come up and attach to these two right here. So I thought I might have to use some pigtails, but I've got plenty of room, and there was plenty enough uh, length on these wires. But uh, anyways, so I just uh, checked it with my voltmeter. It's uh, putting out 91 volts right now. 